The software for SkyWeather really has three parts. And here you're looking at the debug information coming off of the first part. That is the part running on the Raspberry Pi, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. And uh, you can see what's going on here. This is debug information. It shows right here that we're getting a fair amount of current off the, well, some current off the uh, uh, solar panels and still charging the battery as this is a solar power system. And we're updating information to Blink and then periodically you'll see the information being sent up to our partner, um, Weather STEM. Next, we're going to take a look at the system itself so you can see what's going on in that. Then finally, we'll come back and take a look at the information as it's being sent up to Blink. Hi, right here we have a sky weather system. This is a solar powered variant. And uh, you can see the lightning detector over to this side. Over here we have the weather instruments, the anemometer and the wind gauge. And then uh, there's the uh, underneath down here. You can just see the air quality detector in the blue box, as well as the camera peeking out there for sky weather. Here are the solar panels. Now regarding the software, yes, the software is all running inside here. You can see a blue light on the uh, CPU down there, the Raspberry Pi, and it's working well. What we're going to do here is I'm going to spin this anemometer really fast and then show you the change on the Blink app. And now we're looking at a copy of the Blink app on our iPhone. It works on the Android too. And you can see the wind speed has jumped up to 7.7 .7 miles per hour because we're actually spinning it. You can also see the barometric pressure, inside temperature. All of this is being fed into the Blink app by our SkyWeather software. Well, there's your overview. I hope that's helpful.